Hi guys, so I'm finally sharing <laughs> sharing something quite big with you. So a couple of months ago, my friend sent me a link to a book competition because a few of you will know that I wrote a book. Um, and yeah, this little competition came up. I entered my book and then after that, I got an email saying that there had been a lot of submissions and the shortlist would be released at a later date. At this point, I'm thinking, what do you mean the shortlist? I thought this was a small thing. Um, and it also outlined an award ceremony. Um, and at this point, I realised I don't think this competition was small. <laughs> and so I, I was with my friend when this happened and I said to my friend, oh my gosh, that's a bit daunting that so many people have entered that they need more time to finalise the shortlist. So I said to my friend, I just really hope I get shortlisted. That would give me such a boost. And then a couple of weeks later, the shortlist got announced and my book had made it onto the shortlist and I got invited to an award ceremony. So at this point, I knew, <laughs> I knew the competition wasn't small. I knew that the winner would get a cash prize of £3,500 and I knew that there would be three runners up and I was shortlisted into the final eight. Now, even though I really wanted to win because I mean, <laughs> I had 10K of debt from soundproofing that I had to get for my flat. Um, so that 3.5K would just help me cut down that loan that I had by quite a lot. And even though it wouldn't change my situation, I would still be in a horrific housing situation I would still have some level of that loan to pay off. It would just help and it would mean that I could pay off some of the loan quicker. Um, and more than that, I would, I just really needed that boost. Um, so at this point, I'm saying to my friend, you know, I already feel a confidence boost. So even if this is as far as my journey goes, I still feel really proud to have been shortlisted. Um, but then, because I was shortlisted, I did go to the award ceremony, which was held online. It was a Zoom ceremony. And <laughs> even though I said to myself, oh, I just want to be shortlisted, I was also thinking, I just want to be a runner up as well, because that was the biggest thing. I really, really wanted the confidence boost to be a runner up. So this is the footage I got from the ceremony of the competition. So I'll play it now and you can see how the ceremony went. Hello and welcome to the New Voices Award 2022 Winners Ceremony. We have thoroughly enjoyed reading all of the brilliant submissions that were sent in to us. We received hundreds and it was a very, very tough decision. Um, we originally decided that there would be three runners up, but after much consideration, uh, we decided to add another slot and have a fourth winner as we just couldn't decide. The shortlist was so strong and yeah, it was very, very hard for us. So now we have four slots for the runners up who will receive detailed editorial feedback from Amazon, as well as mentoring from an owner agent. So Sean, if you could take it away. Uh, so first and foremost, our first runner up is Paul Fisson. Next runner up is uh, Rowena Birmingham. Our third runner up is Nasreen Parvaz with coffee. And then our fourth and final runner up is Daniel Colvo with the Amber Lodge. Congratulations. And uh, now, without further ado, uh, the winner of the New Voices Award and its £3,500 cash prize is. is Georgina with. Georgina, well done. Congrats. Enough big ups, enough big ups. <laughs> Congratulations, Georgina. Um, we'd actually love to invite Georgina to join us to say a few words. Are you there? Let's see. Ah, yes. While, while you're looking for her, I just want to say the submissions were just, you made our lives incredibly difficult. I mean, to, to narrow down that shortlist wasn't easy. And then at the end, it was just like, can we just add another shortlist so there's someone else that we can keep on our, on our radar? But um, yeah, you, thank you so much. It was an absolute privilege to be all the work that was submitted. And Georgina, congratulations. Oh my gosh, I actually feel a bit emotional. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi. 
yeah thank you so much for this opportunity um my friend was like i believe in you i saw this and i thought of you um yeah i've, I've had quite a difficult time lately i wrote my book when i was homeless and i just wanted to write a better world and i lived in that world for a while and it's really cool to me that you've lived in a part of that world I don't know if you've read it or whoever's read the submission even just the opportunity for someone to read it um that's incredible too um yeah <laughs> yeah thank you oh thank you so much Georgina honestly we are so happy that you're a winner we loved reading your submission it's incredible you're incredible and I'm so glad you didn't give up and so glad that your amazing friend sent this to you as well and yeah we're really happy that you're here Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. When you said the name, I thought, oh my gosh, am I hearing it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you, the authenticity of your voice, Georgina, you know, it really struck through. And it was just, I mean, all the submissions were so strong, but yours yours really did shine out. And, and I can't tell you how thrilled we are to be working with you on it at Amazon. And you're going to have a whole host of support from us. Um, we got your back and we're really excited to work with you thank you yeah thank you so much that yeah i can't even tell you what this feeling is like my friends um i've told a few of them that i've done this and like people have been you know supporting me so to have some good news like i haven't had any good news for a long time so this bit of good news like even when i saw the shortlist that was exciting and yeah it's just been so nice thank you so much Oh, you really deserve it. You really do. Do. This is your time, lovely. You take it. Heads up high. Okay? Anything we can do, you're going to have all our names and numbers, which is, you know, a hard thing to get by. So, you know, you utilise and, uh, and we'll, we, will, we will be there to support you in any way that we can. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Georgina. I hope everyone else as well will take this, like, confidence boost that I have because... Yeah, just being on the shortlist, that was what I was thinking. Like, I was just hoping to be shortlisted. I wasn't I wasn't no. expecting anything more. So, yeah, that's incredible. Thank you. And also, well done to everyone. I was so intrigued by some of those titles as well. I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I want to read that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Regina. Thank you for coming on and speaking with us. And yeah, it's really lovely to see the face behind the story as well. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, everyone who submitted. And yeah, I just want to say congratulations to everyone that's won, been a runner up, and to everyone that submitted because it's an amazing step to take. Keep submitting, keep writing, keep going, because here we have Georgina, like you said, you know, you nearly gave up, but you didn't, and I'm so glad that you didn't give up. So everyone out there, don't give up, keep writing. And thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't think I was going to cry, <laughs> but someone believed in me, someone read my book and believed in me, and that's amazing. <laughs> we did it guys. So yeah, it turns out I wasn't just shortlisted, I wasn't a runner up, I was the winner. <laughs> I won the competition, how crazy is that? Now, as I was saying at the start of the video, this is going to help me out immensely because I had 10k of loans to pay off. Now, obviously, that 3.5k is going to be such a huge help to me. Um, but I have been thinking, you know, a lot of you guys have showed me so much kindness, love and support. And I would like to give back in some way. And so I've had a couple of weeks to sit and think about the best way that I can give back to people. And the reality is that there's just no way that I can give back to everyone that has shown me kindness, support in any form, be that donations to my GoFundMe or my Ko-fi or kind comments. You know, you guys have shown me so much kindness. Um, and then I was thinking, well, what? sorry, that was the tap. So then I started thinking, okay, what if I try to give back to the people that need it the most? And then I thought, how am I going to find the people who need it the most? There's no way, there's no way for me to do that. So then I had the idea 
that <laughs> I haven't thought of what, what I'm going to do yet entirely, but I had the idea that I would give five pounds to five GoFundMes. So it's not a lot <laughs> because I still do have those loans to pay off, um, as I said, but at, at the end of the day, I do have more money than I had before. So I was thinking I could donate five pounds to five GoFundMes or five fundraisers. And potentially if there's a lot of GoFundMes, I might donate to a few more. Um, I'm thinking between five and 10, I'm thinking that would be a good way to give back. So if you have a fundraiser that's currently going, or if you know someone who's got a fundraiser, then link it below. I know this sounds so small, but, <laughs> but you know, obviously I'm still in quite a difficult situation myself with everything going on. Um, it sounds, yeah, like I don't know what the right thing to do here is because I know some people will say, well, you've still got the 10K of loans to pay off, so you should keep the money. And then other people could look at this and be like, well, you've won 3,000 pounds. Why are you only giving back five pounds to a few GoFundMe? So there's, there's two ways to look at it, aren't there? But I thought this would be a nice gesture and within my means. <laughs> So before I go, I thought I would tell you the rules. So the rules are the fundraiser has to be going for at least one day prior to this video going up. So if I click on the fundraiser and it's only been up for say 20 minutes, I'm not going to donate to any new fundraisers. The fundraiser had to be live at least one day prior to this video going up. And that ensures that there is an actual need for it and no one's just created a fake fundraiser, that sort of thing. Um, and of course it has to be, um, you know, if the cause is something negative or bad, I'm obviously not going to donate, but I know there's a lot of fundraisers for medical equipment, hospital bills, um, things like top surgery or gender confirming surgery. I do know the word for it, but I've got brain fog right now. It's like gender reassignment or gender confirming surgery. Um, I will probably have it on the on the screen what it's called but you know anything anything good so yeah thank you for joining me with this happy news I yeah I'm so happy that I'm just happy for like the confidence boost of that from winning that it's just yeah it's given me so much confidence and I'm really happy and excited to share that with you <laughs> um yeah I hope you enjoyed this video obviously it was a lovely one for me because it was such good news and like I say if you have got a fundraiser that's been up for more than one day link it below and I don't know how many fundraisers are going to be linked but there's a good chance that I will be able to donate a little bit to it so leave them below and I'll see you in the next video bye